Welcome to the morning show. Good morning, Andy. Good morning. How are you? I'm fine. How are you today? I have to sneeze. <laughs> God. 52 degrees <sighs> right now in Jackson. Overnight low was 49. And we expect a rainy day today. Periods of showers off and on. Maybe even a thunderstorm. And the likelihood for rain increases hmm. in the afternoon. Interesting. Yes. You know, your weather prediction is always different than my iPhone. Which you're always right, and my iPhone is always wrong. Mm -hmm. Let's take a look at our sky cam. I didn't see any rain on my phone forecast till this after this evening. Hmm. Interesting. Well, we'll just wait and we'll see. We'll find out. But yeah, uh, yeah it's uh, it's you know the first two weeks of summer for the kids, and they don't get that nice weather we've been having for three weeks. So I feel sorry for all the camp counselors and babysitters uh, that are starting their summer work. Uh, you're getting your you're getting your money's worth yesterday and today. Hmm. Could you imagine watching like 20 kids inside during a full day? No, no I couldn't either. No. Hats off to child care workers. Yes, hats off to child care workers. Yeah. Uh, yesterday, uh, excitement at Jackson College. Andy and I were there for the ribbon cutting ceremony of the new Jets Athletic Complex. What a beautiful facility. Uh, yeah. Very, very nice. Jets pavilion, new concession stand, restrooms, uh, press boxes, fields. The dugouts are, they're huge. Mm -hmm. Have you ever seen bigger dugouts? They're heated. They're very heated <laughs> and they're deep. Brandon, when you get out there, you won't believe how deep these are. Wow. Like just as deep as that uh, bullpen right there. It was cool. We got, uh, we got to hear from uh, President Phelan. Someone from Sue Shink's office, mm -hmm. uh, Courtney Ivan from Jackson College, and there were a lot of Jets out there, and uh, I think the feeling was they're just so proud of this now. Yeah, and as well they should. Uh, it took a lot of time, particularly during the pandemic, as construction mm. ended up taking a little bit longer due to supply chain issues. The uh, folks from Alro were there. The Glick family, Brian and Randy Glick, and that family and that mm -hmm. company contributed to the project. As yeah, well. a lot of locals, uh, Coval Group, uh, R.W. Mercer, Cook Foundation and Flatwork, Cochran Electric, uh, Brothers Outdoor, Spry Sign, Billy White, Lester Brothers, Applegate, uh, just a lot, a lot of local. Mm -hmm. And the hot dogs were delicious. Did you have one? I sure did. Yeah. Yeah, they were really good. Yeah. I, uh, I wanted to take two, but I just took one and I took Cracker Jacks as well. Yeah, and keeping with the theme, they had peanuts, Cracker Jacks, hot dogs, and uh, the uh, Yeah, we've got gift. Uh, yeah, and then we got the, the Jets, Jets baseball and softball with yeah. the date on it. So very cool. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Remember when last time you held a baseball? <laughs> what happened? Uh, I was at Comerica Park. Try and hit that camera right there. I bet <laughs> no. you can't. No, do no, it. Try and no, hit the I camera. Be, I wouldn't be able to. <laughs> and it's not one of my strong suits. No, it's not. Um, the Nuggets are the NBA champions. They are. They are. It was close. Yeah, it was. I, I kind of had the feeling it was just going to end last night, and it certainly did. So mm -hmm. pretty cool. I kind of lost interest toward the end of the finals. Um, but very cool first ever championship for the Nuggets. And if uh, you want to celebrate, you'll want to avoid shotgun willies in Denver. Apparently there were uh, shots fired. When? After the celebrations, after the win, uh, gunfire erupted in the streets of Denver. Mm. The old Wild West, Denver. Yeah. That's 47 years bad. they've been uh, around. First time they won the title. Brandon, who's your favorite Denver Nugget of all time? Um, Allen Iverson. Really? I thought you were going to say Carmelo Anthony, but we'll go with Allen, Allen Iverson. Iverson. He played one year or two for the Nugget. <laughs> He's my favorite. He's also my favorite Piston. That shows what I think of Denver. <laughs> yeah, he's uh, Alex English, a, a great uh, Nugget. Yeah, that's right. Uh, the other thing that happened last night at the ribbon cutting for the new Jets Athletic Complex President Dr. Dan Phelan made a surprise announcement at the end. It was kind of like, uh, you know, the Apple annual unveiling. This is a, this like, is a big oh, deal here. Listen in. One more thing. Starting with students 
enrolled for fall 2023, tuition and student fees will be paid, covered for all Jackson County students who meet the family income uh, threshold of $75,000 a year or less. Yeah, which that income is higher than most uh, higher to than receive. Wayne State, higher oh, than State, higher than Promise, so higher than Battle Creek. Yeah. Yeah, so who's eligible? 60 to 70% of our county right now. Yeah, so free college at Jackson College. You hear college. that, Brent? I hear it. You, you hear it? You're planning, right? Another cool thing. Um, so you don't have to apply for it. You don't have to ask for it. They're going to automatically take it off. So they're going to uh, ask you to fill out the FAFSA. FAFSA. Yeah, and you will have to be a full-time student. Full-time student, yep. yep. And that will be great for all those kids, all their families, plus the community, mm -hmm. because as the jobs in Jackson County are requiring more education and they've been harder to fill, a more uh, highly skilled workforce will be available thanks to Jackson College. So, so what a great... Uh, piece of news from President Fanlon last night. Yeah, very exciting. Yeah. Very, very exciting. I believe they have eight valedictorians uh, that attend the college right now mm -hmm. um, from across, across the country. There was an audible gasp throughout the crowd last night when he made yeah, that wait, announcement. Yeah, wait, what? Yeah. Are yeah. you sure? You don't hear about uh, things like that happening all the time. Mm -hmm. It's time for Love Living in Jackson, presented by Heather Herndon and the entire Herndon team at Howard Hanna Real Estate Services. And each week, Heather reminds us why it's great to live here. And we've got a good one for you this week, the Al Glick Youth Football Camp, which uh, we are certainly excite, excited for. One of Jackson's largest manufacturers, Al Rose Steel, supports our great community by bringing the Al Glick Youth Football Camp to Jackson. Saturday, June 17th, kids entering fourth through ninth grade have an amazing time at this one day camp where they'll also get breakfast, lunch, and instruction by current high school coaches, former college and professional players, and there will be a gift bag with t-shirts. Another reason to love living in Jackson. Thanks awesome. to Heather Herndon and the entire Herndon team. We will be out there, of course. Mm -hmm. We saw Randy Glick and Brian Glick last night, and they're very excited for Saturday. Still time to sign up. So all kids entering grades four through nine this fall are uh, welcome. Mm -hmm. We've got uh, high school sports still continuing tonight. It's the region or the Quarter. quarterfinal, Western versus Vicksburg at Kalamazoo College. It's actually at 4 p.m. Mm -hmm. <coughs> and by the way, westbound I-94 has been closed for a couple of hours. Uh, Is it westbound? Crash. Yeah, westbound closed yeah. due to an accident. It's about 7.40 this morning. So if you're going to this game, you might want to leave uh, Shortly. Now. Yeah. Weather should be brisk. You know, the Tigers uh, just won last night. They had lost nine straight, and uh, the second floor, we have, a, you know, we have money to, <laughs> we have money on the Tigers to win the Central. And really I know you guys keep saying that, but yes. I just. What could happen? Fingers crossed. It's a week fingers two, crossed. Mm -hmm. So they're one in 10 in their last, or one in nine in their last 10. So but they're on a one-game uh, winning streak. They're on a one-game winning streak. Do you use Grubhub? Uh, no, I use the other one. Me too. I'm exclusively DoorDash, yeah. and I just wondered if you use Grubhub. Grubhub is laying off 400 employees, upper-level employees. Wow. Um, but it got me thinking that I, I had something to do with it because Why? I don't use you Grubhub. Why? you don't use Grubhub. Yeah. Well, people that uh, do work for Grubhub in New York City and DoorDash and all delivery uh, app uh, businesses, Starting July 12th, the New York City app-based delivery workers must be paid at least $17.96 an hour, not including tips, going into effect next month. Well, I mean, that's not going to work, mm -hmm. so <laughs> you'll have to go pick up your own food. Or yeah. you'll pay a lot of money. Get your own food. You can pay, yeah, you'll just pay a convenience fee. Uh, the wheel is landing on retirement for Pat Sajak. <sighs> Yesterday he announced via a tweet that this upcoming season of Wheel of Fortune, which starts in September, will be his last after four decades as post. That's, wow. I would love his job. It's open. Yeah, but if they're going to give it to someone that's more well-known. You don't yeah. just give it to someone off the street like me. Like uh, Jeopardy, uh, the girl on Big Bang Theory? The girl on Blossom. 
No one knows her name. Mayim Bialik. There you go. I only know that because Brandon has a poster of her in his <laughs> cubicle. As Blossom, <laughs> not as the nerd from the Big well, Bang. The theory. speculation is, well, what's Vanna White going to do? I mean, is she going to be? Is she going to leave too? I don't know. I mean, sh she might be harder to replace than Pat, if you ask me. Yeah, probably. So I don't know. They should probably yeah. retire together. I assume they will. Mm -hmm. I don't know. If I'm Vanna, I don't want to. No, if I'm Vanna, because they've been together since the start, right? 1982, they've been together. Wow. Isn't that amazing? Since the year I was born. Years. And they've never had any type of drama between them, no, have they? No, they? they're close personal friends. That's they awesome. go on trips together. That's so cool. Yes. Very cool. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, uh, that'll be interesting to see who fills that role. Pat Sajak frequently comes to Jackson. Did you know that? No. Yes. Uh, he's uh, been on the board of Hillsdale College. And he's been spotted in Jackson on several occasions. I heard about the Hillsdale College thing. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, he has a private jet, too. Uh, Food Circus is headed to Cherry Creek Cellars today, so that'll be good. Uh, we had uh, the folks from Cherry Creek Cellars on yesterday. Tons of summer events going on. They have Thursday music and then Friday and Saturday music. So check out Cherry Creek Cellars. Um, you got to stop out there this summer. It's going to be a busy weekend. Uh, Cherry Creek has music on Friday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Yeah, we've, we've got, got a lot. Tons of events. A lot. Um, the JDRF One Walk is coming up on Saturday, and if you'd like to sign up, visit JDRF One or JDRF.org. It is the JDRF One Walk, and this is the 25th year uh, for fundraising for Type One Diabetes, and uh, we're at Ella Sharp Park. And I know this is an event you've attended uh, really since the start of JTV. Mm -hmm. um, it's always been important to you. Well, we've uh, been at every single one. And uh, in some of the early years, they brought in some big, big names. Uh, Bo Schembechler, mm -hmm. um, Lloyd Carr, and uh, oh, really quite a few others. Yeah. Uh, some cool. celebrities. Um, oh, I know what I was going to tell you. I know what I was going to tell you. Juneteenth is happening this week. And uh, Juneteenth, the 15th through the 17th, and there is a lot going on. There's uh, musical performances. Tim Bowman, Chantel, and Terrence Hawkins, and DJ Scott White. Uh, tons going on. There'll be a downtown resource fair and community celebration Saturday, June 17th. Mm -hmm. Larry Sumner Jr. will not be there. I do know that. I do know that. <laughs> um, a couple of the uh, a couple of the students injured in the mass shooting at Michigan State have uh, let the university know their intention to file suit. Um, two of the students seriously, seriously mm -hmm. uh, injured, impacted uh, for the rest of their lives, and um, they are uh, they will be citing that uh, MSU knew about defective safety conditions inside Berkeley Hall. And I think uh, we all expected that was, that was coming, and mm -hmm. here it is, so. Well, and there were some uh, issues. There as were. We've heard that have come out since the shooting. The, the response was yeah. Uh, delayed. Yeah. Uh, the radio communication was not clear right and there was uh, yeah two of the the two that uh and you can you know read this uh, in any uh news outlet but one was planning on being an opera singer and was shot in the lung and another was shot in the head and is no is not able to walk and walk or talk and is is getting treatment uh mm -hmm. outside of where they live so just awful awful things yeah, and the university is planning to distribute them to some $2 million that mm -hmm. has been uh, raised in support of those students to those affected. Yep. For sure. So, uh, The Rose Run is happening this Saturday as well, part of the ORS Race Series. And celebrating 53 years, you can uh, sign up. Visit jacksonroserun.com. They have uh, races for all ages and skill level, <coughs> including the 10k run and 10 mile run so there'll be a, uh, a lot of elite runners at this race check it out and it will be on the campus of jackson college the uh, u.s senate yesterday said they're going to be investigating the proposed merger between the pga mm -hmm. and the uh, saudis the live golf people and i know you uh, you we talked about this yesterday uh off the air about that canadian open was Unbelievable tournament with an 
incredible finish. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was just cool, and I love that about mm -hmm. golf, and I know you love that about, about golf, the President's Cup, mm -hmm. the Masters, things like that. So I am just worried about the integrity of the game because mm -hmm. I don't want to miss any of that good stuff. It's a lot about a lot of it's about the tournament and not so much about the players, but we'll mm -hmm. see. I still don't understand any of it. Uh, the PGA has spent, you won't believe this, on legal fees, legal fees alone, forty million dollars in the last year. Is that right? <laughs> yes. Yeah. And they haven't even really <laughs> and, and done they anything. Seen nothing, yeah. Yeah. Wow. wow. Who's on the show today? Oh my gosh, we have a wonderful show. We're going to get things started with Don Hayduk <laughs> and Stephanie Baker from the Jackson County Health Department right after this. At Total Landscaping, we take care of the projects that homeowners can't. From softscape work, including planning and trimming, to more extensive hardscape projects like steps, patios, and retaining walls, Total Landscaping has you covered. Our forestry division can take on large projects from golf courses to farms to a residential lot clearing. For the last 30 years, Total Landscaping has served Jackson with fair and honest pricing, reliability, and industry-leading quality and customer service. Give us a call at 517-764-3626 to begin your next project today. TotalLandscapingInc.com There are many different kinds of noses. Our noses can sniff out all kinds of things. Good things and bad things. Your nose knows if those sniffles are just a cold, allergies, or COVID-19. So swab it, test it, it's good to know. At Consumers Energy, we believe change is preparing. Preparing for the worst by putting to work the very best. Change is improving by replacing utility poles and redesigning our substations. Change is commitment. Commitment to upgrading 1,000 miles of our energy grid every year. And change is confidence. The confidence of knowing when it comes to keeping the lights on, we're always on. Consumers Energy, a force for you, a force of change. The secret is out. Jackson is a great place to live, work, and raise a family. We are people with community pride, school spirit, and deep roots. The secret is out. Jackson has great parks, home to some of the best golf in the country, and boasts more lakes than you can count. With unique, locally owned shops and restaurants, we have a little something for everyone. Hey Jackson, the secret is out. The Heather Herndon team with Howard Hanna Real Estate Services, serving the Jackson community since 2005. Welcome back to The Morning Show. Our show today is brought to you by Vermeulens. They're in their third generation of being family owned and operated. Stop by Vermeulens this week. Show today also brought to you by Homesteady of Greater Jackson. And if uh, you need a wall painted or some drywall repaired or anything on that honey-do list, give Homesteady of Jackson a call today. Joining us now from the Jackson County Health Department, the Director of Environmental Services, Don Hayduck and Emergency Preparedness Coordinator, Stephanie Baker. Good morning. 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 Good morning. Do we have an emergency? No. Yes. <laughs> That's no the good news That is day. good. <laughs> good news of the day. That is good news. I want to, can I ask you about mosquitoes first? Absolutely. Okay. In fact, I just came in from collecting traps. Okay. Yeah. So. Didn't catch very many. Well, that's good. Yeah. Yeah. So I wanted to ask you, but obviously we haven't had many mosquitoes due mm -hmm. to the, what I assume is lack of moisture. Yep. Will that continue? Or does it all just depend on rain? I'm wondering if it will well, be a milder summer. Weather, weather is definitely a major factor. So we yeah. finally got some rain after we did. three weeks. Uh, and, and depending on how much rain and how often we continue to get it, basically mosquitoes need some pools of water to mm -hmm. breed. And if it just, sh the rain shuts off again for three weeks, they have no chance to breed. Well, that's, so. That has been enjoyable. Well, so far, but so we're, far. we're gonna yeah. have rain. We're you don't see. live on a dirt road. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> 
It's only a matter of time. <laughs> so uh, here in Michigan, we don't have uh, the hurricanes. We don't have the uh, volcanoes. We don't have, uh, we've had forest fires, yeah. dry weather. Um, what are some of the other uh, dangers that uh, could impact our, our health and safety uh, during the summer months? Well, certainly all of the storms, the tornadoes, the wind, those kind of things. But uh, Memorial Day week, it was heat. And mm -hmm. we did see an increase in it, people showing up at the emergency department due to, to heat stroke and that type of thing. Older people are vulnerable to those extreme temperatures. Mm -hmm. So, you know, don't do the leaving the kids in the car, uh, mm -hmm. stay out of the sun during the middle of the day, those kind of things, and, and monitor what's going on. Yeah, I saw a dog in the car at a parking lot the other day. And uh, that's not a good idea. I mean, it was, no. Yeah. No. yeah, it's not a good idea anyways. Mm -hmm. Any time. No. In never. my opinion. So. Even in the dead of winter, January, That's right. you know, yeah. happens to be a zero degree day, not a good idea. Not good. No, not good. We, uh, we've been talking about ticks the last five or six years here in Jackson. It seems like they've, uh, they've gotten more prevalent in our area. I don't know if that's true or not, but um, we, have, we do have ticks here in Jackson. And uh, what do you do if you get bit by a tick? Yeah. Well, I will confirm that yes, we do have ticks <laughs> because I pulled one off of myself last night, last setting, night? The, setting the traps oh, <laughs> where I set them. Um, I mean, that is the fact of life. I've seen yeah. an increase over the past five to 10 years just okay. going out hiking or whatever. I mean, I went through the first 40, 50 years of my life with right. hard, ever, hardly ever seen a tick. You know, multiple times per year now. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that didn't used to occur. Um, if you happen to have a tick, and I hope I'm answering your question, not I digressed, uh, uh, you want to use tweezers, get mm -hmm. as close to the skin and the head, and then just slowly try to pull it off with constant pressure. Uh, it will come out. If the mouth parts remain, don't worry about it, but wash antiseptic. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, basically clean the wound, mm -hmm. clean that spot. And then, you know, it takes at least 24 hours, but more than likely 36 to 48 hours before uh, Lyme disease can be transmitted mm -hmm. uh, by that black legged tick. Can you sp um, s spray your uh, patio or your yard to, uh, for, is it like tick spray? Well, it's uh, permethrins mm -hmm. or something along those lines, uh, mm -hmm. an insecticide. Uh, that works against mosquitoes, ticks. It'll help, okay, mm -hmm. but clearing the brush away and creating oh, that yes. uh, brush-free zone mm -hmm. is your best defense uh, yeah. to uh, protect your patio. Yeah, there's, what, I bet a pile of leaves from last year, last <laughs> fall in your backyard's not a good spot. No, <laughs> probably not, <laughs> amongst others. <Yeah. laughs> so we had the hot weather last week. How do you know uh, whether well, you should go to the emergency room? What are the, I guess, the symptoms where something is overcoming uh, you and you're in danger? Well, if you go beyond the, for me, I often think once you get to the point you don't feel like you're sweating anymore, that you know, okay, the body is reacting to the heat, obviously need to, to move to someplace cooler. Um, if you're starting that, that rapid pulse, I think that's a, a big one to look for as well. If you're starting to, if you get to the point of nausea, vomiting, passing out, obviously there's, there's a big concern there. Um, but I think most of us can identify that, that that's coming on before that and have the mm -hmm. opportunity to, to try to move out of the heat and, and get something cold to drink and, yeah. and relax a little bit. A lot of people are, just aren't prepared to go into the heat, you know, going in, yeah. lack of hydration, uh, proper clothing, all of that makes an impact, of course. And the shade is really good. Um, we don't think about how much hotter asphalt and concrete mm -hmm. and a lot of times when you're around buildings they block the wind and the breeze and, and right. that makes a difference too to, to help with cooling your body. So and find that nice nice shady tree and, and take a little bit of a break. Yeah, all great uh, pieces of advice and it can happen like all of a sudden. You just, yeah. you could be out and need to sit down but it could be even worse. Yeah, I think, you know, paying attention to your body symptoms, and you know yourself, mm -hmm. and if you're out and about in an extreme hot day, you're going to be able to kind of tell when you're inching toward, you know, the danger mm -hmm. zone, so to speak. Uh, one other uh, danger of a summer we wanted to ask you about was bats, <laughs> and uh, we had uh, a bat 
in our house mm -hmm. last week. You did? Actually, we had two. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and they were like uh, flying in formation. Yeah. So they were probably oh, related. Okay. We think they were brothers. <coughs> uh, one we captured. The <laughs> other, <laughs> we don't know. But how worried should people be, uh, like us, about um, the diseases that, uh, I guess rabies is what we mm -hmm. all think of when we think of bats. Is mm -hmm. that very prevalent? Well, uh, bats and rabies as well, you know, rabies in general, one of those classic high consequence, low risk potential mm -hmm. situations <coughs> because rabies is rare. However, uh, without any prophylaxis, the consequences are neurological, including death, so high consequence. Mm -hmm. um, in a situation where fine waking up in the morning in your bedroom and there's a bat on the wall or a bat on your bed or what have you, that's something serious to take care of. Uh, you know, if you can capture the bat, fantastic. Uh, using a coffee can or a box, if it happens to be on the wall or on, on the bed, and you cover it up, use a, another piece of cardboard, slide it under, mm -hmm. tape it up, secure it, a couple of air holes, and then contact either the health department or your medical uh, thing or animal control mm -hmm. and discuss the situation. Uh, more than likely, because you've captured it, it can be tested and it'll be sent up to Lansing. Mm -hmm. You'll get tested very quickly and that kind of will determine whether the bat is positive or negative for rabies. Uh, you can't always just tell, uh, rarely can you tell mm -hmm. whether ra a bat or other animals actually has rabies without testing. Could the bat have bit him without him waking up? Yes. <laughs> but why would he do that? Uh, what is the threat to a bat of a sleeping human? <laughs> I really can't ask, answer that question. We don't have vampire bats here in Michigan. I do know that. Well, that's good. Uh, <laughs> they're the ones that will, you know, target livestock and need need a blood meal uh, for survival. Have you uh, had a bat in your house? I have never encountered a bat. Oh in my well, house. there's two types of people: those that have. And those that <laughs> I think I may well. have them on the outside of the house. Yeah, uh, yeah. Stephanie, have you had a bat in the house? Not in my house, really? but yeah. I see them outside. <laughs> yeah. You know, around. Wow. So. You've had them, of course. Yeah. Yeah. You've had them, <laughs> of course. Yeah. And, and one of the key prevention things to keep them out of your house is caulk your, you know, and it's good for insulation. Yeah, caulk your house. Uh, any. That bats can get through a dime size. Yeah, it's hole. amazing. Yeah, and that's why you don't think they've left. You know, because yep. where would they go? Exactly. Maintain yeah. your siding so that it's firm against the uh, the sheathing. Uh, just look around you know, and fill up any holes. Um, there are companies out there that actually can kind of do this kind of work. If, mm -hmm. if you do have a bat problem where they're coming into your attic or what roof line or whatever. Um, there are techniques that the professionals use to eradicate it over uh, that colony of bats over time. So, right. I've yet to find that company that will come and get the bats, but yeah, if you, you say were, they're there, you, I'll, yeah, I'll it sounds it. like you're a professional. It sounds. <laughs> yeah, I, I am. I am. I've been researching this uh, for years. So. <laughs> uh, what else can we get uh, in, the, in the summer heat? Uh, Ticks. Well, we're going uh, out in the woods. You got uh, poison ivy. Uh, uh, of course, that's a, obviously a, a big <laughs> issue. It's hard to avoid. It is. Uh, some people call it the official ground cover of Michigan, yeah. uh, <laughs> depending on where you go. Um, but uh, yeah, poison ivy. Uh, at some point, you will become sensitized to it. Uh, I went a good 30 years without being sensitized, yeah. but now I am to some extent. Well, so many uh, risks of uh, this season, and we thank the health department for keeping us educated and safe. Thanks to both of you for being here today. Yeah. Thank, you. thank you. Yep, just pay attention to your surroundings and be aware. Uh, from the Jackson County Health Department, Don Haddock and Stephanie Baker. More of the morning show after this. The Enchanted Forest Bar and Grill has something for everyone. They offer a large menu with a variety of meals to choose from, including many Middle Eastern options, along with the everyday favorites. 
Enjoy live music and dancing, pool table, huge bar and large banquet hall, perfect for your next gathering, wedding reception, graduation party, and more. And don't miss Sunday brunch, 7 a.m. to 3 p.m. Experience a great night out at the Enchanted Forest Bar and Grill, located at 3705 Ann Arbor Road in Jackson. I'm miles beyond my knee injury. I am Henry. I use science to help families grow. I am Henry. I'm a new mom with brand new lungs. I am Henry. I made sure that the cancer in my chest never got to my heart. I am Henry. I'm Henry. I am Henry. When you found your inner believer and all around conqueror, you found your Henry. Collins Brothers Floor Covering has been serving the Jackson community for over 80 years. We specialize in residential and commercial projects and offer a full range of flooring materials from carpet to luxury vinyl. With endless colors, styles, and patterns to choose from, we can complement the look of any room. Quality products at the best value and customer satisfaction are guaranteed when you choose Collins Brothers Floor Covering. Contact Collins Brothers Floor Covering and see how we can personalize your project today. Home is where the heart is, inside and outside. Increase the comfort of your deck or patio with a retractable awning. From Addison Awning in Jackson, the touch of a button turns bright sun into soothing shade and reduces energy costs. Addison Awning is proud to be one of Michigan's largest awning shops with hundreds of fabrics and styles to choose from. Last year's demand created wait times, so order now and be ready for summer. Call Addison Awning in Jackson at 782-8473. That's Addison Awning, 782-8473. Our new Express Oil Changes and More building has been a huge success. Not only do we have the best oil change prices, we top off fluids and do a 33-point inspection, all while you enjoy fresh-baked cookies, coffee, and popcorn in our new lounge. This month is our Jeep Freedom Day sales event with special pricing on all new Jeeps. Stop out to Extreme Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram in Jackson, just off I-94, exit 141, or online at ExtremeDodge.com. Our show today is brought to you by Wilcox Lawn and Landscaping, and it's a great time of year to give them a call. Whether you need uh, landscaping, sprinkler installation, or uh, fertilization, they will take care of everything in your property from boulder, wood walls, decks, gazebos, paver walks, patios, retaining walls, water gardens, landscape design, and more. Give Wilcox Lawn and Landscaping a call today. Jennifer and I had a chance to bring in Dr. Penn for a pre-taped segment. Let's take a look. Welcome back to the morning show on JTV. It's time now to welcome from Penn Chiropractic Center, Dr. Randy Penn. Good morning, Doc. Good morning. Good morning. Great to see you, Andy. Great to see you, Jennifer. It's a beautiful day. It is. Everybody's out and about getting yes. reacquainted with summer and springtime sports. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. yeah, they are. It's like, uh, you know, you're getting out, you're using your body for the first yes. time in many cases. What's happening to our body after this long winter? Well, it's for sure. It's, it's, I mean, we become kind of sedative, right? I mean, yeah. we just, we're just not moving as much, especially yeah. outside and we don't get enough vitamin D mm -hmm. in this region, unfortunately. So, um, we start moving, we start getting out, we start getting active, we start having strains, sprains, things of that nature. It happened to me the other day, mm -hmm. first day of golf, and I'm like, oh, it's no big deal. And all the things that we teach, I mean, it's just, it, it was the time I could play, right? Yeah. Yeah. So I went out, didn't probably do all the warm up that I should have done, and kind of tweaked my knee a little bit. Oh, Hopefully no. it doesn't hinder <laughs> things today, but it's, Well, uh, if it does, we have an excuse. Oh well. Yeah, you got, there's always something. there's always yeah, there's yeah, always there's always, there's always, a reason, always a reason. an excuse. But yeah, to your point, whether you're uh, you know you're trying to get in shape for a 5K, couch to 5K, these mm -hmm. joints yeah. that maybe you never had pain before, didn't yeah. even know existed, um, starting to nag and stress. But you have technology that uh, really can help some of these issues. We, we do. We have multiple techniques that we're using. Uh, the one that kind of highlight in this segment would be pulsed electromagnetic fields. Pulsed magnetic, say it again. Pulsed electromagnetic fields. I thought you fields. said post-traumatic stress <laughs> disorder. <laughs> and we all Very have that, right? So tell us what, what that does and how it can help our viewers. So we've known about pulsed electromagnetic fields for, for decades, for probably 70, 80 years or even longer. Yeah. Um, 
the Earth has a pulsed electromagnetic field, right? So like when we're in the woods or barefoot on the beach, right? You know, that feeling of kind of there's a sense of calm. Mm -hmm. It's called grounding. Okay. So scientists some several years ago really kind of honed in on this field and kind of harnessed the energy. And what it does is it, it think of it like cellular exercise. Like okay. exercise is great for us, right? So um, that's one way our cells can respire. That's why exercise kind of keeps us healthy is because and movement, right? Mm -hmm. We don't want to have sedative things going on. We have, so movement is life. So what we're, we can do is if there's cells that are damaged, unfortunately when cells are damaged, Jennifer, they kind of shrivel up, right? Okay. So we can't get nutrients in the cells as effectively or waste products out. Mm. So what we can do is target tissue that's been damaged, no matter what it is really, whether it's inflammation, whether it's fractures, whether it's uh, some kind of joint sprain, strain, mm -hmm. that kind of thing, is those cells kind of shrivel up. So now we can target that tissue and we can exercise the cells, pump them back up into a healthier state, mm -hmm. the way they should be. Now they, the cells become more permeable to oxygen and hydrogen mm -hmm. and nutrients and trace minerals so the body can then heal itself. So once that cell is, is healed or strengthened, mm -hmm. um, is, it, is it good to go? Or is this an ongoing thing that right. you need to do? That's a great question. And I mean, it's like drinking water, right? How long would I tell you to drink water for? Always. Right, daily. For Every how day. long? Every day, all day. Right. Rest of my life. Right, so we have to pay attention to how our, what our cell health is. So okay. just like we can't go to the gym for three months and we can't get to a good state, and then all of a sudden stop, we're not just gonna be at that state. Yeah. So the cells can, once they're recharged, certainly they're in a much better state to defend against disease and uh, future injury, things of that nature. The tissue does heal, it becomes in a healed state, but then we have to, just like we just have to maintain it, right? Yeah. So unfortunately cells that are damaged also lose their charge. Mm. So just like our cell phones you know, lose their charge, Every cell in the, in the body, 70 trillion cells, are all like a little battery. Okay. And so they can become damaged or they can lose their charge or weaken their strength. Okay. Right? So I've done the pulse tech, yeah? This right. is the, mm -hmm. you have a couple different um, systems where you can either like lay against it or place it on mm -hmm. you or you have that round ring. Mm -hmm. So I think it's important that the clients know that it's very comfortable. I mean, it's mm -hmm. almost like a spa 10 minutes. You know, yes. you can just go and relax mm -hmm. and you put, the device on whatever area needs it. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a very relaxing environment um, and it just does the work. You can just lay there and close your eyes, meditate, maybe fall yeah. asleep. I might have drooled once or twice. <laughs> I was just I'm that wicked. cozy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're, you're exactly right. It's, it's, uh, it's comforting and we can adjust the strength to com the comfort of each patient because everyone's a little bit different, right? Yeah. So we, we can, some people like a little bit higher intensity and like if we're pulsing the brain for you know for some reason yeah. mm -hmm. we want a higher frequency so we're not like having it and that we want it to be comfortable so they feel it but there's no pain involved we even right. did something katie claire like darn near broke katie's nose and it was really swollen mm -hmm. and bruised out to here we did something with her that mm -hmm. with that that helped i think mm -hmm. you and i should go in and do it and see who can handle more i bet i could uh, <laughs> Uh-uh. Oh, there yeah. is no way, Andy, I guarantee I can tolerate more. There's no chance. Oh, yeah. Yeah, right, we'll do it. Okay. But this all leads back to performance, yeah. and mm -hmm. when you're trying to perform at your best, if your body is not uh, cooperating, I mean, it's mm -hmm. just a recipe for disaster. It really is, Andy. I mean, the the Europeans, they've been, they kind of, we developed this technology, mm -hmm. and the, the, the kind of, Europe kind of not took it, they they had it. Took advantage all, of took it. Advantage right. of it. Yeah. The technology. And this is kind of commonplace for them in, in terms of getting cells in a healthier state and revitalizing and rebooting kind of the tissue. So that helps performance. So they're golfers. Um, they use it routinely. Um, so it's, it's really, uh, it's something really for everyone. That's what's kind of cool too is that yeah. it's not like, it's, you, no one's too, too young. We've had, We've had kids with, with autism. We've had we've had kids with, you know, just even just a little mood disorder, speech, mm -hmm. dis, um, slow speech, and, and we put them on this, and along with their other therapists, 
these pe they're starting to thrive again. So it's pretty cool mm -hmm. how it's 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 really virtually every cell in the body we can kind of revitalize and recharge depending on on where the tissue's damaged, and that leads to performance that whether they're athletes yeah. or just performing in school. Yeah. Right? So should you be adjusted before or after you have the therapies? It's a, that's a great question too. We, typically, I like to adjust first. Okay. And, and here's why. As we adjust the spine, we know today that it, sh it lights up the brain. Yeah. Remember, it lights up the prefrontal cortex. So now the prefrontal cortex is more active and that is what controls and coordinates all body functions, okay. right? Autonomic system. Um, heart, lungs, liver, kidney, mood, um, virtually every cell in the body, right? So when that's lit up and then we go to the technology, I just feel that it makes sense to me that that, that would then perform better. Sometimes it doesn't always work that way. If I'm sure. behind, we have, we have to put people into the technology first and that's okay, but I just feel like if we're adjusting first, sure. then we go into pulse, we have the maximum benefit. Yeah, I feel like we're, then the body's, it's already self-regulating because yeah. we don't do the healing or claim to and the machines yeah. don't. It's getting the body in a state to really heal itself, okay. right? And, so. and what's really the most important thing is that we, we feel good, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. This. Oh, yeah. And uh, helping, this all helps to promote uh, a healthy, healthy lifestyle, healthy community, which uh, mm -hmm. in turn is, is better for everybody. Yeah. For sure. What yeah, should we, awesome. what, what should we watch out for? You, you, young athletes participating in new sports, right? Mm -hmm. Is that something that we should kind of keep an eye on? I think so. I think that's, I mean, that's, Anytime we start something new that we're vulnerable for injury, right? right. So I like the idea of like pre-screening them. Mm. So oh, nice. if that's a good idea, if we're going, if we're going from soccer to um, let's say a, a soft field, right, mm -hmm. to a court, so their their ligaments, everything, right. their, their tendons, especially as they're growing and developing, they're changing. Yeah. So that's why it takes some time for them to get their. If you see like a football player mm -hmm. then go into hockey, yeah. it's, it takes them some time yeah. to get their legs because, yeah. I mean, football is a great sport, but they're not, uh, the conditioning for hockey, for, you have to skate your way into yeah. that yeah. almost, right? So if there's any imbalances structurally, whether it's foot, ankle, knee, we can watch them walk, we can watch them run, we can see if there's any, anything that's really out of position, then we can we can have them work on those mm -hmm. things. We can have them strengthen the things they need to strengthen, stretch the things they need to stretch. And then certainly if there's alignment issues, that's just, you know, that's mm -hmm. what we do first, right? If we set the ankle or set the knee or set the hip or the spine, whatever it is to make sure the joint's functional, then we can strengthen or stretch around that so that there's less chance for injury. And you mentioned, you know, the overall goal is to just feel good. And mm -hmm. one of the things that I love about chiropractic and I've experienced at Penn Chiropractic is just the overall wellness that mm -hmm. you promote, you know, whether that's talking about healthy diet or appropriate supplements, mm -hmm. you know, based on mm -hmm. your needs and your lifestyle. And then the multiple technologies, you mentioned you have seven different stations, mm -hmm. basically seven mm -hmm. stations of wellness to help people feel yes. their best. Um, mm -hmm. Is this something that you always had a passion for? Um, I did, yes, but we d we didn't have all this all this technology. So okay. um, I've always focused on uh, total spine correction and optimal health. That's our whole purpose has always been to okay. every patient that we see mm -hmm. is to not o not only educate them on lifestyle, but then adjust as many families as possible, right, towards optimal health, yeah. not just symptom relief. So that's really always been our mantra. Mm -hmm. Today we. But that was always, I just had two adjusting stations for like 20 years. That's yep. kind of what I did. And then give people homework, stretching and nutrition and guidance in that, in that realm. But today, they, after they see me, now there's these other stations where yeah. you, I really appreciate your point, Jennifer, is that they're getting well at every station. Yeah. And so that they dovetail each other. And so now we start having layers of, of these, these wellness stations and they, they all kind of dovetail off each other. Yeah. A, lot of, you know, so. a lot of great things happening uh, at Penn Chiropractic. Thanks, Thank for, uh, thanks for being with us today, Doc. We appreciate yeah, it. Absolutely. Thanks, Andy. Thank thanks, thanks, Jennifer. More appreciate of The Morning it. Show right after this quick break. Kelly Hart.
Express Marts are conveniently located throughout South Central Michigan with convenient hours of operation. We pride ourselves on our fast and friendly service to get you going on your way. We're here when you need us. Full service and fully stocked stores, fresh hot premium coffee, and cappuccino. All Kelly Express Marts are staffed with friendly, knowledgeable people committed to providing the highest level of service. Kelly Express Mart. <laughs> Looking for a new hangout? Town Bar in downtown Jackson is Jackson's oldest bar and has food and drink specials every day of the week. Whether you're looking for a quick cocktail or a bite to eat for lunch, Town Bar is the perfect spot. Join us for daily happy hour specials and make sure to check out our popular karaoke night every Monday starting at 9 p.m. Find us on Facebook at Town Bar Jackson for more information and upcoming events. I'm Tim Rogers. The Enterprise Group is the economic development agency for all of Jackson County. We help companies grow and invest in your community. We're proud of the successful projects adding wealth and prosperity. Our team offers strategic, measurable business advantages to help you grow and thrive and make a better life for all residents of Jackson County. At Hometown Heating, Cooling and More, we know how important family is. That's why we've been a family-owned and operated business since 2009. As an authorized Daikin dealer, we're dedicated to providing the best heating and cooling services for your family's comfort. So, don't sweat the heat or shiver in the cold. Let our family keep yours cozy all year long. Welcome back to the morning show. Here's a fun thing to do. It's the Jackson College Summer Concert Series. The next concert is Thursday at 7 p.m. featuring the Capital City Brass Band. They are awesome. It's on the back patio of Potter Center. There are tables and chairs, but you're welcome to bring blankets, lawn chairs, picnic basket, and uh, more. We'll see you Thursday at JC. The crew and I had a chance to visit Scott out at a and Market. Let's take a look. Oh. I'm at a and 2 Market here with owner Scott Masco. And Scott, I've learned a lot about uh, this place already. Um, first of all, people love this place, don't oh, yeah. they? Oh yeah, <laughs> they come down quite a bit. We have people come from all over the place. Yeah. As far from down south, we have people ask us to ship the meat to them. Really? Oh yeah. What is it about your market that just uh, suits people's uh, palate? We try to keep the best of what we can at everything. Okay. And plus a lot of the stuff's homemade. Okay. All our sausages are homemade. I mean, our jerky, we do all that in-house, everything like that. We used to do some salads, we don't do the salads anymore, yeah. but everything else we try doing here. And myself, I try picking out the best meat I can yeah. for everybody, because I know what I like and I know what I want to sell. Yeah. I mean, I can't please everybody, but we try, yeah. you know. The store looks uh, looks great, and uh, one thing I was going to say, I, I notice a lot of uh, your uh, restaurant customers, mm -hmm. they brag when the meat yeah. on their burger is from you guys. That's going to make you feel pretty good. Well, what's kind of cool, though, we usually win best burger of the year, yeah. every year, except it's not our name. Right. It's our meat, but it's not our name. Yeah. They're like, this year, three out of the five come from us. That's awesome. So, you know, I mean, yeah. it's, we're used to that, but we don't get the recognition for that. But, you know. The best burger comes yeah. from here. We know. So, and of course, we do it the old-fashioned way. Right. We cut everything up. Okay. There's no tube burger at all. We okay. get all the chunks of meat in. We cut it all up. We grind it. We make our own mixtures and everything like that, yeah. which makes a world of difference. And it's never froze for the most part. So. Scott, how did you start in this business? Um, you know, you've, you've been doing it 35 years. There's nothing you don't know about the business, but it wasn't always always like that. No, well, what it was, I had two uncles that had meat shops when okay. I was younger, and my dad was in it my whole life growing up. And so it kind of like fell into it. And then I was unemployed for a short time, and then I like kind of got forced into coming yeah. down, and then it's just I stayed ever since. So, yeah. so you uh, one thing you have a, a staff that uh, seems to like you and the store. Um, it, it's a family business, but it's also a family business because some of your employees have been here so long that they're like family. Yep, we've seen their kids grow up and everything like that. I mean, it's kind of cool, yeah. you know. I mean, some of them. I mean, I've been here longer than some of my employees been alive. <laughs> which is kind of a crazy way to look at it, but it's true, you know, so, so it's kind of nice. 
Scott, when when people come in, you know, not everyone's an expert when it comes to meats. Do you uh, do you offer people help, seasoning tips, uh, grilling tips? What we can. Yeah. I mean, a lot of them too. They they refer to us more as like cooks. Okay. You know, how do you do this? How do you do that? Okay. And we can just tell you from what we've experienced, how we've done it. Or a lot of times we refer to Google. Okay. I mean, yeah. to be honest with you, because right. you can get so many different recipes and so many different yeah. ways to do things that we don't even know how to do yet. So, but there's some things like we have a lot of people ask us, how do you cook this? How do you cook that? Yeah. Well, I've screwed it up a lot. <laughs> so, you know, I've got some experience. A lot of trial and error though in this business. How to do it, so, you know. Yeah. <laughs> There's, it's gotta be fun because you can cook you can cook so many different things so many yeah. different ways but then still I've worked here so long it's like what did we eat today you know <laughs> I mean it's like that at anywhere really I mean if you work at a um, kitchen or whatnot yeah. you're gonna be tired of what you cook every day sure. and do everything I mean hate to be that way but it's true yeah well uh, Jackson sure as heck is not uh, sick of what you do but uh, things looking different around here you got some news cases you've got some vegetables going talk a little bit about um, uh, kind of what's new here at A&A. Once we started I mean over the last couple of years we've been clearing out clutter that's in here and things that don't okay. sell and bringing in other items like a whole line of vegetables that we have over here that are frozen for grilling the air fryer the skillet everything like that then we brought in like things from chicken nuggets to corn dogs to rib tips, you know, things that people can grab and go. We even created a grab and go door in the back for we have put burger in there, bacon, pork roast, everything like that so people can come in and get out so you don't have to wait in line. I mean, this is the uh, summer cookout spot, correct? For the most part, yeah. We so, get a lot. We have people, I mean, come from Ypsilanti and everything, especially all these different clubs like American right. Legions and everything wow. like that and Eagles. They come from all over the place. What's your favorite, uh, what's your favorite cut of meat? Myself? I like anything from the strip to the um, ribeyes, you know, okay. but I recommend always the choice items. Okay. I mean, especially if you're going to get a steak. Okay. I mean, if you want just, you know, something, you know, that's all right, yeah. you can get to select, but if you want the good stuff, go with the choice. I mean, you can't go wrong with the choice usually, so. And ask, ask, ask the, uh, ask the butcher. Yeah. Ask the butchers, they know what they're doing. I mean, because I'm straight up honest with you. Yeah. If I don't like a certain steak, I'll just tell you, I don't take them home. You know, I mean, I sell a lot of them, yeah. but I do not take them home. How does it work when you come in? Do you, uh, there's a line. How does it work? Do you come in, kind of get in line, and then uh, yep, just go about place. your business? Yep. Most people, they come in, they go down, they usually enter to the right, they rip around, and then they just start lining up. Okay. And then the deli, they usually just walk right up to the deli. Because the meat side usually has got a lot bigger line. And like some days, like on the holidays, We'll be lined up all the way around and even outside the door really? waiting to get in, yeah. What about pre-ordering, right? Because if I come in, I don't want well, we do to screw everything up. But the only thing is, though, you still have to wait in line. Okay. Because if not, it starts flights. Because uh -huh. a lot of people, they don't, you know, or, uh, I've been waiting and, no, yeah. no, you're cutting. Yeah. So, yeah, no, they don't go for that. So we hit me you know, to refer to them. You have okay. to wait in line like every place else. We debated on making a line in the back for just pickup orders. Yeah. But the only thing we have in that is like it'd be just to pick up the order, okay. not well. I'm gonna need this too. I'm gonna need that or this. You know, can I get that? Yeah. That's what you know. You I'm always behind that person. So you know, it's like the person buying lottery tickets at the store. Yeah. You don't want to do these are taking the country by storm. Oh, these, the oh my gosh, yeah. talk a little bit about these hot pickles. Um, we get them from a guy from Jenny's Farm Market. Okay. He goes down in Southern Indiana and gets okay. them for us and brings them up. I eat those like and, potatoes. Yeah, chips. we sell tons of them. I ain't really much of a pickle guy, really? but I'll eat these. Yeah, I mean, I'll sit there instead of making them to put on my burger i'm eating them while i'm making my burger so yeah, i mean exactly. that's good stuff and they're but they're not you know a little bit of heat to them but not where they're going to burn or anything and they're like every jar is a little different too. i highly re i highly recommend these these are uh yeah. these are delicious Excellent. what are some other kind of unique things you guys have in the store that you know you won't find obviously wonderful selection of uh meats and we get a lot of like um amish for, you know baked goods and fried okay. pies and everything we do a lot of things with that cinnamon rolls we got in a brand new thing of milk that's Amish country milk that comes okay. from Sichuan, Indiana. Okay. It's non-homogenized. It's really good stuff. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's a little pricey, yeah. but it's some good stuff. Yeah. I mean, it's really good. And we just try bringing in things and seeing what the customer thinks. And yeah. if they don't like it, we do away with it, bring in something yeah. different. So, I mean, it's just mostly what they want. Yeah. You know, I mean, we go by what we like too. So if we don't like it, we know yeah. they ain't gonna like it. Yeah. So we just try doing it that way. It's a it's a fun store. It's just uh, people seem to be in a good mood when yeah. they're here. Well, it's kind of cool because customers come in. A lot of us know us for a long. They like to joke. Yeah. You know, they'll pick on each other. You know, my employees will pick on them. They'll pick on my employees. You know, I mean, it's it's kind of a neat atmosphere with that. And you've had people, like you said, you have you have people that were not born when you worked here, but you've also have uh, you've got people that are, that have been here twenty years. Yeah. Yep. We got a quite, actually quite a few of them, though, that have been here. I mean, it's a decent place to live. I mean, we're to work yeah. and everything because 
I'm right out there with you. It's not like I'm over there just, you know, oh, you do this, you do that, and yeah. that's the way it is. I'm going to sit back and just watch. No. What um, is uh, – what what are are there some secret hours that maybe the public wouldn't know about any middle of the night type early morning work is there is well, there well, is there some stuff here, we don't know about well, we get here at six to prepare to get everything open okay. and there, like certain restaurants and stuff we do let them come in early okay. because they can come through the back door and get out you know because they got schedules they have to keep too so okay. but other than that that's basically it about the hours and i do have you know get me wrong Every now and then I you know break my own rules of letting certain customers yeah. in you know if it's past closing time and now, but if they come from a ways away, I mean, how can you tell them no? Exactly. I mean, you can't tell them, or you drove an hour, no, you got to leave, come back. You know, that's, you know, I let them come in, so. So, it's it's going to be busy when you come here, but that's good, because the line, it's fine. The line moves quick, and there's and there's tons for everybody. What would you recommend if someone's going to come in? Maybe they're having a, a small cookout, or maybe they want to do something for a, a graduation party. Um, how should they come in? Should they call? Should they just walk around and have fun, pick out whatever they want? It's up to them. They can call and place an order ahead of time. We have no problem with that at all. Okay. only thing we don't do ahead of time, we don't do the tenderloins ahead of time okay. because they're so pricey. Okay. We wait till you're here okay. and we do those in the meat bundles. We okay. wait till you're here and we do them right on the spot. They're never froze, so you ain't got to worry about that. But any of like your special orders for like pulled pork or any kind of trays for graduation, yeah. you know, huge amount of steaks, okay. burger. Feel free to call up. We'll okay. get it ready for you, and when you're here, it's ready to go. Awesome. Maybe don't get wrong. You still got to wait in line, so it's your turn. But you ain't got to wait. You know, it's done. So. It's it's worth the small wait in line. I mean, the customers that have been here forever and they come in forever, we yeah. recognize them. You know, kind of like give them a little personal thing because yeah. you know, like one of the guys will run it out to them. Yeah. You know, and not have to wait in line like that. That's the perk of being a customer That's for right. here so long. So. That's right. You know, there's quite a few of them that do that. So, yeah. yeah. Well, uh, I want to thank you for showing us around today. Thanks for uh, uh, being a part of JTV for so many years. The air inside your home can be two to five times more polluted than the air outside, and it's never been more important to keep the air you breathe germ-free. Lammers Heating and Air Conditioning offers several solutions that will keep the air in your home free of dust, odors, bacteria, and viruses, including inactivating 99% of coronaviruses trapped in Carrier's Infinity Air Purifier. Every breath you take matters, so ask the experts at Lammers Heating and Air Conditioning to help you choose the right air purification system for your home. Uh, welcome back to the morning show. You know, uh, housing prices, I was looking in <laughs> Los Angeles County. Right now, in Los Angeles County, there are only 11 properties listed under $250,000. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. Only 11. That's in crazy. The whole county. And that's like 28 million people? Yeah. <laughs> Can you Let's move. Looking for a house in LA. Oh I couldn't gosh. imagine. I couldn't imagine. But the banks out there must have some loose lending restrictions yeah. <laughs> because how else would people do it? Mm, who knows? Mm. We've got a great show tomorrow morning. Please join us live at nine. We'll have Dr. Dan Phelan, president of Jackson College, Tim Rogers, the president and CEO of the Enterprise Group, and Aaron Dimmick from People for the Parks and Trails of Jackson. That's all tomorrow morning. Uh, later today, I hope you can come back at 1 o'clock. We have the Residence Life Team at Jackson College. Hunter Causey and Andrew Monroe, plus Noah Nagy uh, and Kegel Johnson from Parnell. Matt Lehman, Melissa Burgett with the Rose Run. Caitlin Pace, Bill Vaughn, and Frank Murdoch. All later today, hope to see you then.